As much as I'd like to give you this one free beer, we can't do it over the internet yet. But I can do the next best thing and show you how to get data about beer for free. This here is a website called BreweryDB, which offers an API for developers to use if they want to build apps. Like they have an example here, which shows you a brewery map. So you can put in your zip code and it'll show you all the breweries around you. They also give you information about specific types of beer and more specific things that brewers would find useful. So what you can build with this is only limited by your imagination. And what's even better is they give away free access to their API of a limited subset of data so you can play around with this at no charge. You can check out their pricing page here, I'll link to this below, so you can see they give you a lot of data about beers, breweries, even nutritional information about the beers you're thinking about drinking. And it's all community and crowdsourced supported, so I think a lot of breweries, they write back to this API, and you can see they give you a free sandbox account you can use for free. So if you scroll down here, you can see it gives you 10K requests a day, which should be more than enough to test it out, and you can access all their endpoints. And then you can see here, you can start using the full set of data that they'll give you for only 20 bucks a month, or 250 if you wanna do more serious things like get the nutritional information. So you can just sign up, it's pretty easy. Also, I'm in no way affiliated with this website. I just found it interesting and have used the API and thought it was cool. Once you've signed up, you can check out the API docs and you can see more of what they offer. So they'll mention the sandbox account and how to use that. And you can check out all their endpoints here. So if you wanna check out the different types of beers you can get with their API, we can experiment with this endpoint here, get slash beers. Once you sign up, you can check out the API endpoint and see how you can get data back from their system. So here, let's check out the beer endpoint and we can see that they have some inputs you can give to them to get the list of beers that they offer. So it looks like this is just gonna let you browse all their beers and you can paginate through each result set to build your own copy of their data. And they ask you for things like page number if you wanna do pagination. It looks like you can also search by the name of the beer or an ID. Uh, they give you some other options for searching, like they have different styles, if it's available, organic even. And the data they give back to you looks pretty comprehensive. So it'll give you obviously the name, even food pairings, what goes well with that beer, ABV, how much alcohol's in it, even details about the glass, if there's a recommended glass to serve it in. You'll see they give you back all this data, even nutritional information if you have the enterprise account. Now we get to the dreaded point is, okay, we found the API, how do we go about and integrate it with our system? So this depends on what you want to do. If you wanna build like a complex system, maybe it lives on your end user's device and have your end user talk to this API directly. You probably wanna look at maybe one of these service libraries or if you have your own web server, you wanna to talk to this app directly uh, and you can check out, it looks like they have a lot of different libraries, which is awesome. So you can check these out. However, I'm interested in just doing something basic. I wanna get a copy of their data, maybe their beers, maybe their breweries just so I can look at it myself, or maybe I want to ingest it into my own Postgres or MySQL database, and then have my own app use that data instead of having to hit the API every time. That's another option, though we'd have to check their terms of service. So if we wanna go down this route, we just basically have to hit this API, get slash beers, and keep hitting it for each page number until we get all the results together. So this is a very common problem, and you could do it for free if you write some code, It'll take you like maybe an hour and you have to fiddle around. It's a pain in the neck. I'm gonna show you a paid tool. So I know this breaks the free beer at the beginning. This is the Steve C data wrapper around the beer's endpoint we were just looking at. Now, full disclosure, I just so happen to own this product. So any paid subscriptions go to me and they help support this channel. So the way this works is it'll prompt you for all the inputs you need to query the API. So I took the documentation and I reformatted this into the Steve C system. You can clone this and you can edit it, you can customize this if you'd like, uh, but I'm just gonna show you a very basic example. So all you need to do is get the API key from BreweryDB. So we go back and it's at the top under here, my API keys. Just copy your key, put it in here. And then Steve C goes and it builds the URL it's gonna call for you. So it even shows you in the direct tab, I could copy this and just give me the curl command and I'd get the data back. And I can go and change the page number to page two here and it'll update the command, page three, etc. So let me just show you if I do it for the first page. Steve C will go and parse back all that JSON and then show me what it thinks I'm interested in. So it found that in the data, part of the response JSON they send back looks like the beers. 
So this is what Steve C thinks I'm interested in. So I can download it as a CSV file. And here's the data back. It took those 50 results from the JSON and translated it into a CSV format. It also flattened out a lot of those other complicated things like the images list. If I want to look here, I have an icon so I can check out the image. So I got a little image there. So I could take all this and ingest it into my own database and then query my database directly. Or I may want to do some analysis or maybe I'm just thirsty and I want to print this out and go through all these beers. So 50 beers is good, but I want more. Well, let's go back and see how many beers we can get. So looking at the raw response, I see that there are 1,109 beers I can get from their sandbox API. There are even more on their paid API, but I think 1,100 should keep me pretty busy for now. So to get all these, we just have to keep updating the page number, change it to two and three and four, and keep going until we exhaust the list. And then we have a bunch of different CSV files or JSON responses, and we have to figure out how do I combine those all together to put into a database. I didn't feel like doing that, so I used CFC to make a workflow to automatically do this around that endpoint. And I shared it so anyone on the platform can import it. So just scroll down here and you can import this. And all I have to do is put in the brewery DB API key. And what this will do is it'll access that endpoint. And I can see here under advanced endpoints, I set up a pagination loop. So it'll just keep hitting it with page one, two, three, four, five, six consecutively. And this extractor here tells it to take that response from the data part of the JSON and automatically convert that into a CSV and keep appending for each result I get back. So let's run this on a shared proxy. It'll show me like 10 requests or something. Okay, now the workflow is running. It's gonna make all those requests for me and do all this busy work for me so I don't have to write any code. So here it made the first request with page number one. So here are the rest of the requests, two, three, four, up to eight, and it's gonna keep going. Okay, it's all done. It made a grand total of 24 requests and took a minute and 18 seconds. So here are all the beers. And here's that CSV again, but now you'll see it has more than 50 rows. It has all 1,109 beers all the way over here. It looks like they're alphabetically sorted, but I can sort this in Excel by like ABV if I wanna try some different beers. I have them all in front of me. I can look at the different food pairings. They have, I see some recipes over here. There's like a description. So that's it. I have links to all this below. So like I said, you can query their API for free. And like I just showed you, there are 1,100 beers you can get for free. They also have brewery data with geo coordinates. Let me know in the comments if you wanna see more of this and go deeper in this API, or if you have other APIs or things that you're interested in, I can help show you and how to access their data over APIs. Take care and stay data-driven.